Today's date, September 9th, 2021, last month in August, eight people were shot in Youngstown, Ohio. Six of those eight people were wounded and the other two were killed. One of those people who was killed was a man. And the other person who was killed was a 10-year-old girl. A 10-year-old girl shot and killed. This past Labor Day weekend, eight children were shot. In Chicago, Illinois, eight children. Seven of those eight children were wounded, and the other child was killed. Two of those children who were shot and wounded were attending a back to school event. That's right. Two children were shot while they were attending a back-to-school event. Now, if a person wants to shoot another person, and that person who they want to shoot is at a back-to-school event, how can the person who wants to shoot that other person not see all those children around? Think about that. I'm going to say the age of each child who were shot. One child is 17. One child is 16. Two children, 15. One child, 14. One child, 13. One child, 12. So a 17 year old, a 16 year old, two 15 year olds, a 14 year old, a 13 year old, and a 12 year old were shot and wounded. 
and the last child who was shot and killed was only four years old. A four-year-old child dead. For what? And if I'm not mistaken, that child was not from Chicago. That child and his family was visiting family. And they came from another state to visit family in Chicago. Now a four-year-old boy is dead. And I will ask all these people who are doing all this shooting, what goes through their mind, if anything, when they hear that one of the people they shot was a child. There needs to be a national outrage for all these children who are losing their lives to gun violence. There's a national outrage for other things There need to be a national outrage for these babies, these children who are getting killed.